What's going on, you guys? Blaze over at Blue Chip Athletic Club to talk to you about one of my favorite names of a move. Uh, shout out to my female clients for naming this the Ovary Killer. Uh, it's going to be super good. So it's really just a psoas release, but I think our female friends and counterparts definitely struggle sometimes with this during uh, specific times, and I'll digress there. So what I want you to do is I want you to place your a kettlebell with the handle kind of straight up, we'll call north-south or 12 o'clock position. We're gonna name like the top part of it as like our hand position here. So we're gonna tilt it over to kind of like two or three o'clock. And the goal is to kind of put that along your panty line on your right hip. So you're gonna lay on top of it. I know this sounds kind of awkward, but just stick with me. You're gonna pop your hip on top and you're gonna lay on top and at first, you might not be able to put a lot, a lot of pressure down. So I've got my hands are both on the ground, both my knees on both my legs are on the ground. But as we kind of get better, and as our psoas starts to release, ooh, you can kind of start to floss up and down and finding that tense spot. And you can start to bring some weight off the ground too. Oh. Thankful that I don't have ovaries to kill. But for all of the women out there trying this, I'm really sorry if it is uncomfortable. If you're ever in pain, please stop. Again, I'm not a doctor, nor do I claim to be. Oh, baby. Oh, all right, I'm gonna switch sides. Ooh, so now I'm gonna go, clock position now is gonna go back to noon and then back over to like a 10 o'clock or so position now on the other side. And now I'm gonna lay down my left hip on top, right along that kind of panty line or V line, whatever you wanna call it. And now again, I'm starting to floss up and down. I know it's really hard for you to see what the kettlebell is, but it's basically just laying along the inside. Ooh. And I'm kind of just flossing up and down, trying to take more and more weight off, breathing into my hip. Kind of sounds weird, but if you focus on your breath going to the spot that's a little bit discomforting, you can uh, start to alleviate some of that discomfort. <sighs> oh, baby. Oh, so after your time or your rep count, you'll go ahead and come out of it and notice that your hips are a lot looser when you stand up. So let me know if that helps you guys out. We'll see you in the next video later.